you? Hello, don't do this. Let's play yet another fidget toy game. This one is called Fidget Pop It and P Simple Dimple. I was gonna say Pimple Dimple. <laughs> Simple Dimple. We've played so many different kinds of fidget toy games on this channel and we've done a whole series of playing multiple games anywhere between four to about 15 different games within one app. But this one was recommended to me and it had a really different thumbnail. You can see that there's a kitty cat with these pop it buttons. Now I've played this kind of actual real fidget toy on my main channel where you have to speed and press the buttons that lights up as you can see here on the screen. So when I saw this thumbnail for the game, I'm like, I need to try this. And so let's look at the preview of this game in the app store. We do see the pop it toy. You can get a frog, a rabbit, and then we have the cactus. Now we did experiment with the cactus previously so I'm curious, about, what is that? Oh, I love these. Oh my goodness, we're actually carving. We have a kitty cat puzzle. I never like puzzles as fidget, and we, we get to play chess. We have fidget spinners. We have a squishy. We have a xylophone, punching bags. So it's going to depend on the sound effect. Oh. Are these going to be sound effects? I love a sound effect board. And the biggest difference between one fidget toy app to another fidget toy app really has to do a lot with sound effects. So this game had better deliver when it comes to sound effects. Do you like quiet fidget toys or noisy fidget toys? Let me know in the comment section below. I absolutely adore noisy fidget toys, especially ones that make clicky sounds. For me, that is just absolutely satisfying. You know what else is satisfying? Having more trash pandas. So make sure that you subscribe, otherwise I will slash you and click on all notifications right there to join us for live streams. And when we look at the picture, we can see that we have a dinosaur for the speed game. We also have a duck. There's a huge gummy bear. We see slime. I see also some poppets in the shape of a duck or a watermelon. And I'm not sure what the square or the circle are. I'm guessing maybe Dalgona. I think they're called Dalgona cookies where you're supposed to cut the shape around them. Maybe I'm wrong. Kitty editor, what are your thoughts? And again, this is an absolutely adorable thumbnail. I might steal this from my actual video. If you click on it, you'll know. <laughs> and again, we have the same one, but in a bear. And then, oh, there you go. It does say Dalgona. Kitty editor, I don't know if you and I, we were both wrong, but here it is. In case you looked ahead. Don't cheat, kitty editor. Don't you dare cheat, kitty editor. Okay. And we have poppets. I have to say the graphics on this game look a little subpar. So I'm curious if it's actually going to be any good. And what is going on here? What is this mess? I don't know. What is this mess? There's, there's definitely mess going on, but there's mess. And a musical toy. So I'm curious what these musical toys are. It is an abomination, but we're going to find this out together. So let's see what this game has to offer us. I did turn Wi-Fi off. So we're going to be seeing if it has ads or if it's going to force us to have Wi-Fi on. It's loading, tap to start. Okay, so far it looks like we have a collection of fidget toys. Wow, that is a lot. That is, oh my goodness. And we have VIP, so I'm guessing you can get VIP when you pay for no ads. So we don't really care too much about that at this time. And then there's exclusive 10 new games. So these are definitely locked. And then we have games of the day. So in order to get these, I'm guessing you have to pay for the no ad in order to access them. But in order to know if it's worth paying for, let's see the free games first. So we're gonna do a general normal test and then head on to the more unique games. So here is a fidget cube. It should make some really interesting, what is going on? Hello? No sound? Can I rotate? Okay, I can rotate. This should make some sound. Here, let's get the click. Okay, let's rotate a little bit more. So we have to press on this area here to rotate up and down and on the side, which is a weird mechanism, but okay. Not too bad. Let's see this side. Oh, I like that. This does sound good. Over here should have no sound. Indeed. Under it is more of a worry stone. And then the top is just a joystick. But we do have click sound, so this is a good baseline. And another good baseline would be the poppets. Let's see how we feel here. Oh, can we swipe? Not bad. There's a bit of a delay, but it is there. Now, what's the rotation for? Do I turn it around? Oh, is it a different sound? No, it sounds like it's basically the same. And we can change it into a pumpkin, an Among Us character, a cactus, a duck, and they all sound the same. 
And if you turn it around, yeah, they sound the same. And then we have a piece of a puzzle. Yeah, okay, it's a good baseline. We have sound effects, this is good. Now we have our singing monsters. Let's move on to things we haven't tried yet in other apps. What are you gonna do? What is that? Holy shrimp! That is not a singing monster! I'm gonna press it again. If it's not singing, we're muting it. That is just nightmare screaming. Okay, let's see the yellow one. Okay, it's less bad than the other one, but it's still screaming. How about green? Are you any better? Sounds more like a dinosaur. I can handle that. Orange, what are you doing? They're all a variation of like a bird of prey or something. All right, red. This is more like video game yelling from the 1990s. <laughs> what are you? Hello, don't do this. This is terrible. No, I don't want you anymore. The first one really was the worst. And we did put the volume way lower just to not startle anybody. I'm gonna give that one probably a 0 on 10. I don't see why I would ever press that again. The other ones, I'm going to give them a baseline of like 7 on 10. All right, let's see this cactus that's supposed to repeat something after us. Hello, I am a trash panda. Hello? Hello, I am a trash panda? Hello, I am a trash panda? It's not moving though. Why aren't you moving? You're supposed to flail your arms and move around. Why aren't you moving? You're supposed to flail your arms and move around. Okay, it's kind of doing it. Not not the best exactly. Okay, it's kind of doing it. Not not the best exactly. I'll take it. <laughs> this is pretty boring. It's supposed to really flail and move around and be something super exciting, but it's really not doing anything exciting. I don't like this. Something super exciting, but it's really not doing anything exciting. I don't like this. Wow, thank you for that. I'm gonna give this a 2 on 10. You know what? 3 on 10. It is entertaining. <laughs> But let's move on to something else we haven't tried yet, which is going to be the game on the top left. But I kind of want to see what else. Oh, banana. What's a banana? Do? What's this? What? What? I really like the sound effect, though. It's like a rubber band. There's something about this rubber band sound effect, but the visual is absolutely atrocious. I think if I were going to base it on sound, it's definitely satisfying. Sound alone, I would give it like a 6.5. Visual is hilarious. But I'm gonna give it a 4. <laughs> I don't know what's supposed to be like that. We have a ball here. What is this ball supposed to be? Is it a squishy? Oh. I'm not sure what this- oh, oh, okay. I'm not sure what this is supposed to do, but I am rotating it and I'm pressing. The colors are pretty. It's kind of ghost-like faces, but I'm not sure what it's supposed to do. And we can change colors. So here's green, green and yellow. We can do yellow and red. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not feeling this one. I'm gonna give this again a zero. For me, this app is still not doing it. We're trying all the new things here. There's a chicken. Huh? Hello chicken, what do you do? Oh my goodness, what does this do? Oh my goodness. You know what, I'm, I'm liking this. This is terrible. Okay, look at them slide right off. This is kind of entertaining. That I can see myself fidget to try and get the bullseye, but again, still not doing it for me. I'm just gonna give this a seven on 10. And then we have a color machine. I don't know what this is supposed to be. Is it supposed to be a pop it? I'm gonna press. Oh, rotate. It's just popping. Is that it? Yeah. I mean, it's a pretty idea. It just doesn't give that nice sound to it. Another five on 10 for me. Then it looks like we have something electrical. What do you do? Are we, are we moving into space? What is that? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What's happening? This is kind of visually stimulating. And when you let go, it slows down back into nothingness which is kind of interesting. I'm really digging this. For those of you who are looking away because of the light, you can look back here now. And then we have a kitty cat. What does this kitty cat do? Is it a squishy? Again with the rubber band. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Don't tell me it's gonna pop. Is it gonna pop? No, no, no. It's just making that sound. 
but it hasn't popped. I have a pretty big fear of things popping, so we're not doing that. Visually, it does look pretty interesting. Sound effect does not sound like a squishy. Would have liked a soft foam type feel to it. So I'm gonna give this probably a six on 10. And then we have this funny looking cube. I'm not sure what this is supposed to do. What are you? What the shrimp? Huh? Oh, it's a fidget spinner. It just spins funny. There you go. Does it make any sound? I don't hear anything. Yeah, no. Two on ten. Let's hear the xylophones, because why not? <laughs> okay. And yeah, my parents going to love this. Okay, we're going to move on from here. And then we have a octopus poppet. Uh, what? Huh? This is not a poppet. Hello? It broke. Hello? What's happening here? Zero on ten. We have a duck bubble machine. We've seen, we've seen bubble machines, so we don't need that right now. We also have a space machine. What does this do? Oh, it's um, a metal drum? <gasps> Why am I in love with this? Okay, I'm gonna stop. I love this. I'm gonna give this a solid eight on 10. You can't go wrong on this. I know, I'm, I'm very focused right now. I feel like my face is just doing this. I'm in love. I'm in love with this. This is okay. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. <laughs> I'm in love. All right. What else have we not tried in previous apps? If you want to see a lot of these tried, make sure that you do watch down below. I will link at least three different videos where we actually tried these ones. We do have a slime. Let's see how this one sounds. Very mushy. And you know what? The consistency is pretty good. It's slow to move back. It's a little wonky on the animation. But it sounds pretty good. Let's see a next one if it sounds exactly the same. Yep. Next. Yep, yeah, they sound the same. I'm gonna say it is pretty satisfying, so it'll get a good rating of like 7 on 10. I'm curious if the bubble wrap sounds like the poppets. Okay, here's the sound. And we're back at the poppets now. No, they don't sound the same. That's fantastic. I'm gonna give the bubble wrap also a solid 7. And just for fun, hey, um, Magic 8-Ball, are you a good game? Oh, we actually do have to shake it. The answer is, are you a good game? Are you? Outlook not so good. <laughs> this game knows its own fate. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and try the Poppet game. Tap to start. Okay, now, oh, oh, now we have to tap the ones that are lit up. Why does it do that? That's kind of weird. That's weird. Complete level. This actually got me a little dizzy. <laughs> Let's see how level two looks. Okay. It's basically the same thing. It's good for reflex training, I'll be very honest, especially for a free game with Wi-Fi turned off and you're looking for reflex training. That's not bad at all. I'm gonna give this probably a solid, also eight on 10, if you're okay with the spinning, because it's good hand-eye coordination. I like this. And you can change from a bunny or a frog. You have a hamster. What else do we have? A bear and a duck. So I'm gonna have to say this app is not the greatest. There's probably way better apps actually, actually there is. The previous app we played had way better games in there. So I will link it down below if you wanna watch more of these because the sound effects and the visuals were just absolutely phenomenal compared to this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and say this one is kind of a dumpster fire. If you wanna watch more dumpster fire games, make sure you click up here. If you wanna catch a live stream that you may have missed, make sure you click down here. Until then, I'll see you next time to fight game.